Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, we're going to go over the Quicksilver Storm Exotic Catalyst. If all you could do, though, before we get started is subscribe and join our community Discord, that would mean a lot as we are a big, growing community and we help out anything Destiny 2. And, of course, this YouTube channel is all about Destiny 2 guides, so please be sure to subscribe so we can hit 20k. But other than that, let's get right into it. So, the exotic weapon Quicksilver Storm was revealed and was awarded to guardians back in plunder as it was the pre-order bonus for lightfall this video is sort of like a follow-up to that on how you guys can get the catalyst which is what we're going to focus on today now we have the quest already in the database and all the requirements and what the catalyst does but one of the things i actually don't have right now is the quest itself it's likely that you're going to have to finish the Lightfall campaign as there is no other source that I have found right now that shows that you're going to just be able to get it right then and there, like the exotic seasonal bow. So you're likely going to have to finish the 8 mission Lightfall campaign, which is going to take some time if you're doing legendary, but, you know, just enjoy it for what it is. And then as soon as you get that, you will be able to be awarded with the Catalyst Quest. Be aware if you want to get some of the other pre-order bonuses like the exotic ornament and some of the stuff like the Rahul secret sash, you're going to have to go to the Cryptarch and pick that up. Now, what does the exotic Catalyst Quest do after you finish the campaign and obtain it? Well, the exotic quest says the following. First, you're going to use the weapon, obviously, and that's no surprise. You're going to have to gain data to support the nanite cabularation cabularation by rapidly defeating combatants in Neomuna with auto rifles, grenades, and any grenade launchers. Rapidly defeating combatants with grenade launchers grant the most progress. So be aware, it's just going to ask you to use this gun and you're going to have to collect 150 da data. As soon as you finish that, as you're just going to use the weapon in Neomuna's destination, it's going to ask you to go to Banshee. When you go to Banshee, he's going to give you another part where he's going to ask you to defeat combatants in the in Neomuna with the grenade launcher alternate fire mode of Quicksilver Storm. And he's going to ask you to kill 50 enemies with the alternate fire mode of Quicksilver Storm. After you finish that, it should award you and finish off the Catalyst Quest and award you with the Catalyst to the weapon. Now, what does the Catalyst do, Redrix? Well, the Catalyst will create tangles on kills with this exotic. We saw a little glimpse of it in the weapons and gear trailer. I recommend all of you go and watch it if you haven't seen it. And that will basically as well help out with creating tangles for your strand subclass now it looks like you're going to have to get strand from the lightfall campaign as well so this will fit in exactly with that and it's also great to know that tangles will be used more in the gameplay aspect of things as there's going to be weapons using the tangle a lot more than just like other things like war mine cells so it looks like tangles are going to be pretty popular among weapons and there's even new strand perks out there in strand mods so quicksilver storm will fit right in as being one of those weapons you want to use with its catalyst but other than that guys that really that's that finishes off the video i hope you did enjoy subscribe and like so you never miss out on any other destiny 2 videos and join the discord server but other than that i will see you guys in the next video bye guys